What is up everyone? Welcome back to West Seattle Bowl Pro Shop. Today I'm very excited because we get to take a at least our first look at the brand new Storm IQ Tour 78U. It's a mouthful for the name, uh, but this has been pretty highly anticipated. You've probably heard some buzz about it already. Uh, we'll talk about why, but first we're just gonna get straight into it, see what it does. All right, so the IQ Tour 78U. If I say T-thumb, uh, this is urethane, if you haven't heard and uh, pretty fresh. So fresh urethane hooks quite a bit right off the rip. So I'm just gonna throw myself way left and then we'll talk about what happens to urethane right after that. There's <laughs> a lot going on there. Urethane, when it's fresh, no oil on it at all, uh, reads very early. It's the earliest thing that can be out there, to be, to be honest with you. So yeah, pure urethane, uh, no oil on it whatsoever, hooks out of the building. That's just what it does. It's been doing that for decades. Uh, this is no exception. With a little bit of oil on it, from the exact same place, it should tame, tame out quite a bit in the next few shots. My goodness. So that's what urethane does. Uh, that's what I grew up rolling. Uh, that's what I watched my dad roll. That's what I watched a lot of my bowling heroes on TV throw back in the 80s, early 90s, uh, pure urethane. So what do we have here? Well, let's talk first about what we have over there. This is not our typical West Seattle Bowl house shot. This is a short pattern, kind of a challenging one too. It's called boardwalk. It's pretty flat in the middle, two to one ratio um, for those of you wondering what that really means, there isn't really a missed room right, and there isn't really a missed room left. So your angles and your shot repetition is pretty key. I'm gonna now move, as we saw, this ball is uh, already tamed out, and that's kind of what urethane does. Oil doesn't absorb into urethane, so what's on here stays on here. I'm gonna move all the way right, and see what happens. Quite a huge difference, but that's just what urethane does. But yeah, pure urethane oil doesn't absorb into the cover. Some of you may already know that, some of you don't, but that's just what it does. Whereas reactive resin, it absorbs it in like a sponge. And so the oil on here, uh, there isn't much traction going on. Okay, so what makes this any different than any other urethane? Uh, two things. The first thing uh, is that inside the ball isn't some weak core like you might find in a lot of urethanes. A lot of other urethanes have a weak core because the cover reads so early, reads so strong, that uh, needs something to kind of carry that reaction down the lane, preserve some energy. This ball has a little bit bigger of a core it is my favorite core of all time, the IQ Tour core, the C3 centripetal core. Uh, let's get into that in a sec. I'm gonna just throw another shot. I'm gonna move left. Now remember, this is a flat, short pattern. Not exactly where I'd be playing this, but see what it does. Okay, so where I would definitely be playing on a pattern like this that you might encounter at some point or you have encountered in the past, I'd be right. This is 35 feet as opposed to our normal house shot of 42 feet. That's a major difference. So where we want that ball to be exiting that pattern, down lane is about four board. When I move inside, it's pretty risky to be throwing it out to right with a ball that isn't going to turn the corner and come back. And so that's why we move over here. Also, we avoid the challenging flat stuff that uh, doesn't have any forgiveness. Like that one, all right. Okay, so the IQ Tour core is my favorite core of all time. And when I say that, uh, I mean I've probably owned a ball with the IQ core in it and the IQ name somewhere stamped on the outside maybe 25 times. 
So welcome home number 26. I've been really looking forward to this. Uh, kind of wished that this had been made a long time ago. I threw urethane in college, really loved it. That was before the resurgence of urethane became trendy again. I just remembered Pete Weber throwing a red ball like this in 88. I don't know if Pete Weber remembers it, but I do. It's not gonna be flashy, it's not gonna be bending the lane. It's just kind of a smooth idea. That's your thing. So it's got the IQ Tour core, and for those of you who have owned an IQ Tour, that's probably hundreds of thousands of you, uh, if you're expecting a ball like this to roll like an IQ Tour, it doesn't. Uh, the IQ Tour is famous for being pretty chill, smooth, and doing almost all of what it does in the middle of the lane having a weaker cover so it stores energy for a little bit of pop in the back. This ball uh, might have that core, but the cover is most of what it does. All right, a little high, bad shot really. So why put the IQ Tour core in a ball like this? Well, that brings us to point number two of what makes this ball different from a lot of other balls on the market, at least at the time of this filming different. This cover is rated at a 78 hardness and if you're not aware, uh, bowling ball hardness specifications on the PBA Tour, which is where a lot of balls get marketed, it can't dip anywhere below 73. But this one's 78. <laughs> and what studies seem to have found is that urethane covers soften over time, about five points on the hardness scale. So that's where the 78 number that you're gonna be hearing quite a bit about this next year comes into play. Starts at 78, softens to 73, we're all good, right? At least we'll see. So when you have a cover that's uh, higher up on the hardness scale, uh, it's not gonna have as much of a footprint on the lane. It's not going to uh, be having as much friction. It's gonna skate a bit. You put in a core that's not exactly a weak core, like the IQ Tour core, super control, super early rolling. The IQ Tour core has a RG of 2.48, so what that means is figure skater, arms in, spinning pretty fast, earlier on the lane. It kind of makes a 78 hardness urethane ball roll like the older, softer bowling balls. At least that's the idea. So what am I seeing so far? Well, what I'm seeing so far is that it seems to be doing that really well. This is a shape in a urethane ball, at least in modern times, that we don't see as much anymore. So what I'm seeing with this ball so far is that it reminds me a lot of balls from back in the day. The shape is a lot more rounded than say your purple hammer or even the new blue that just came out. It's a lot more rounded coming off the pattern. To my eye, uh, I really love that. Okay. Rounded for me, just a pleasing shape, but it also informs my eye of how to adjust a little better than something with even just a little bit of kick. When I'm throwing urethane, what I want is for something to be reading right off my hand, and then it just chills and sets to the pocket. Purple Hammer and the New Blue, they do that too. This one is just a little smoother off the back. I like that a lot, but looking forward to this one. Let's throw one more. I'm gonna move uh, one board left. Getting into the uh, flat, probably not the best line. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's just, so I threw a bad shot, and that's what flat patterns do. They punish you if you don't throw great shots. You can't just miss left and it carries down, and you can't just miss right and it brings it back to the pocket. On a two to one pattern, you kind of make the shape. So what we're gonna do now, 
swap out of this ball and just to kind of give your eyes a chance to see the difference here is an iq tour the regular goat iq tour one difference about it though is it's drilled kind of trick layout it's a short pin tuna quarter pin to pap 45 valve what that basically means is uh it's meant to go kind of chill it's meant to control the back end like if I had a urethane that did that, maybe I do now. But let's just throw it from where I was throwing the 78. You see, same core, but this is how much difference the cover makes. Strike, Brooklyn, so major difference. Remember, this is drilled to still chill it out in the back end, which is what I like when the lanes kind of seem a little funky where this ball should probably be played on the short pattern. It's way over here, about 20 boards left. Somewhere around there. So while this has the same core, we're gonna get out of this ball. There are 10,000 videos on YouTube about the IQ Tour. So let's put that away. Let's go to the hottest talked about ball currently. Here's a new blue. It's drilled the exact same way that the uh, IQ78 is. Uh, I've thrown it a bit. I haven't quite matched up with it like everyone else seems to be. I'm gonna just go kind of where we were with the 78. Right, again, this is shorter, flatter. This is the optimal line. Threw it right, kind of jumped on me and that's one hallmark of the new blue is it's stronger at the back part of the lane than the 78 is. And it's not stronger at the front part of the lane. That's kind of its charm. It stores its energy because it kind of cleans to the front. It's pearl and it's not actually urethane. I'll throw a better shot though. Same spot, I think you can kind of trick it to the pocket. So you can kind of see that around that 78 line, that doesn't just slow around to the pocket, it kind of does a slow dive in. It's nice, probably most people are gonna enjoy that on your uh, challenge, sport. Maybe for some of you, the house shot. Uh, so here, here's a house shot kind of line on uh, not the house shot, but just to kind of see just how much energy this does have. Move 15 left. didn't get the two out, but look at that, right? IQ 78 cannot do that. But that's not what it's meant to be. So let's get out of that. And we're gonna go to the ball that I've been most considering comparing the 78 to, the fast pitch. This is the Storm fast pitch. This was a urethane ball released a couple years ago. Uh, it was meant as another option to the long-standing pitch black. Compared to the pitch black, this ball is just a little cleaner through the front, so it has a tiny bit more down lane motion, but not much. In fact, I don't even know if on camera that translates. I can see maybe one more board of back end motion. That's been my urethane ball of choice. Uh, the pitch black is great, but whatever it is about the fast pitch, probably just that it's a little cleaner through the front. It just suits my eye better. I love it. Goes everywhere with me. Let's throw one more like it. I just love it. If you need a urethane ball, that's my pick. But they're discontinued. 78U. So on the most recent Beef and Barnsey podcast, uh, I asked Chris Barnes if he felt that the IQ U compared better to the pitch black or the fast pitch. And he said pretty unequivocally that that he thought that it compared unequivocally to the fast pitch better. Music to my ears because that's what I wanted. I like the pitch black, 
But if this ball over the course of time is gonna roll more similar to the fast pitch, I'm okay with the fast pitch being discontinued. Just order up a case of the 78s, I'm good to go. So why would it roll similar to the fast pitch? I guess they got some similar traits. They're both a solid urethane. Uh, fast pitch has a weaker core. IQ core uh, gets into a roll much earlier than the fast pitch. So why are they kind of rolling similar? It's because this one is 78 hardness. So it just gets down the lane a little further. The fast pitch was designed with its cover to get down the lane just a little bit better. So they get to the same place, but just taking a different vehicle to get there. But yeah, it's the IQ78's cover that gets it to go further down the lane. And it's the fast pitch's core, the weaker core, that gets it to go further down the lane. Let's throw a couple more and then we're out of here. I'll take those Wally weak 1980 shots all day long, feel like a kid again. I'm really loving this ball. Can't tell you how much I'm loving this ball. We are just about wrapping up 2023 at West Seattle Bowl and the Pro Shop and this YouTube channel. But we're really excited for some new things coming your way in the new year. We've got some cool ideas for the YouTube channel. So we can't wait to see what you think. I know what I'm gonna be throwing a lot in the new year is the 78U on the harder stuff. I have five other balls that make my bag though, so stay tuned for our next video. It's gonna be a two-parter. We're gonna get all five of us from the pro shop and talk to you about what we liked this year. All right, let's throw one final shot and then we will wrap it up and send us into our final videos before heading into the new year. Woo, Phil Warner, I'm walking here eight, nine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Super happy that you've been watching. Keep subscribing, all that stuff, and uh, we'll see you in the final videos for 2023.